some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. You're walking along the beach, and there it is. A massive, bloated whale, washed ashore, unmoving. It looks harmless, quiet, peaceful, but then... A deafening blast. Chunks of flesh, blood, and gas fly through the air like shrapnel. It's disgusting. It's dangerous. And it's real. But what causes this horrifying explosion? Why do some whales literally blow up after death? Welcome to Bob's Nature, where we dive into the wildest, weirdest sides of the animal kingdom. If you are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button, because today we're unpacking one of nature's nastiest secrets. When a whale dies, its body begins to break down almost immediately. But whales are huge. A blue whale can weigh up to 150 tons. And when something that massive starts decomposing, things get intense. Bacteria inside the body feed on the whale's organs and tissues. And as they break it down, they release gases like methane, carbon dioxide, and hydrogen sulfide. The same gas that smells like rotten eggs. But here's the problem. Whale skin is tough, and their blubber? Incredibly thick. So all those gases, they get trapped. The whale basically turns into a giant pressure cooker. And without a release, the pressure builds and builds until the body can't take it anymore. That's when it ruptures, or worse, explodes. In 2004, in Tainan City, Taiwan, a 60-ton sperm whale washed ashore. The authorities decided to transport the carcass through town to a research facility. But as the truck rolled through the city streets, the unimaginable happened. The gas buildup reached its limit, and the whale exploded, violently, Blood, guts, and internal organs rained down across a busy intersection. Cars were soaked, storefronts were drenched, people were horrified, and some were even injured. 23 tons of whale remains splattered across a city street, the smell unbearable, and it lingered for days. So, can these explosions be prevented? Yes, but it's not easy. Scientists and marine authorities use long blades or even chainsaws to carefully vent the carcass. They make small incisions in the body, letting the gases escape slowly before they become deadly. It's gross, it's dangerous, and it smells worse than you can imagine. But it works. In some cases, whales are buried deep under sand. In others, they're towed out to sea. And in rare cases, they're intentionally blown up, which brings us to one of the most legendary explosions ever recorded it's 1970, Florence, Oregon, a dead whale washes ashore, and the Oregon Highway Division has a bold idea. They pack it with half a ton of dynamite. Why? To launch the whale bits out to sea and let seagulls clean it up. Hundreds of people gather, TV crews are rolling, boom mics are ready, and then detonation. A massive explosion, followed by utter chaos. Huge chunks of blubber rained down from the sky. One chunk flattened a parked car. Spectators ran for cover. And the seagulls? They wanted nothing to do with it. County, nobody could remember how to get rid of one. In selecting its battle plan, the highway division decided the carcass couldn't be buried because it might soon be uncovered. It couldn't be cut up and then buried because nobody wanted to cut it up. And it couldn't be burned. So dynamite it was, some 20 cases or a half ton of it. The hope was that the long-dead Pacific gray whale would be almost disintegrated by the blast and that small pieces still around after the explosion would be taken care of by seagulls and other scavengers. Well, I'm confident that it'll work. The only thing is we're not sure just exactly how much uh, explosives it'll take to disintegrate this thing so the scavengers, seagulls and crabs and whatnot can clean it up. Not all whale carcasses explode. Several factors come into play. Temperature, Warm climates speed up decomposition, size, bigger whales have more tissue, more bacteria, more gas. Time, the longer a whale sits, the more pressure builds. Location, whales stranded on land are more dangerous than those in water. 
If no one steps in, the whale becomes a bomb. One misstep, just leaning on the body, could be enough to trigger a rupture. But here's the twist. A dead whale isn't just a danger, it's a gift to the ocean. When a whale dies in the deep sea, its body creates a whale fall, an entire ecosystem that can last decades. Sharks, eels, crabs, even bone-eating worms thrive off its remains. It's the circle of life in its rawest, most powerful form. And yes, even in death, the whale has a role to play. So, why do whales explode? Because nature doesn't hold back. It's messy, it's magnificent, and sometimes it smells really, really bad. If you made it this far, drop a like, subscribe, and tell us in the comments, what animal mystery should we uncover next? This is Bob's nature, where nature gets real.